What's up YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fuel Fishing Channel. Today is August 25th, 2016. And truth be told, I don't know how my doctor found out about the stuff, but uh, he told me to take it easy, you know what I'm saying? He finally figured out that I've been fishing all around and I should be home resting. So he told me to take it easy. As you guys will see in this video, I just caught a koi and this is exactly the game plan for today. We're going to be stalking for koi in this little unnamed pond in Radnor, Pennsylvania. So stay tuned and we'll see how many we can catch today. Stay tuned for today's adventure. So today's main goal is for us to take it easy, just like I said, right? We're gonna walk around this very, very small pond and we are going to stalk for koi. And how that happens, it is very simple. You just get a very light setup, like the one I have here in my hands. I'm using my Saint Croix Avid Pearl 66 uh, medium light, two piece, right? With my Daiwa Samurai 1500, very light rail six pounds copolymer line keep in mind six pounds okay with a very small split shot okay minimum weight just so enough that i can cast my stuff out there and a size h mustad hook okay you get a very light setup you choose a pond that is around your house where you usually see koi is swimming around or even common carp is swimming around mirror carp goldfish all those good things you know and what do you do you stalk for them. In other words, when you get to that body of water, you don't set up in one location. You just walk slowly, get a set of polarized glasses, look in the water, you know, and you see where the fish are at. And once you know where the fish are at, then you chum right there on the spot and you catch them. This is exactly what we're going to do for today. Stay tuned. Hopefully we will catch some good quality carp or koi. Hi, how's it going? Good, good, thank you. Ooh, there's one right here. White one. That's what we gotta do right here. Seems to be feeding on some mud right there, huh, buddy? Getting all the nutrients you need. Oh yeah, he likes that, he likes that. He likes that corn. Son. He's feeding on it. Now, we will be able to hook it. That's the main question here, let's see. Fish on. Oh yeah, first one of the day. <laughs> that was easy. Oh man, koi fishing is always a lot of fun. You gotta use light pound test line or else you can't really fool the koi. But as far as you have light pound test line, you'll be fine. Come here, koi. All right, got a nice white one right here. He's running, he's gunning for the sides. Uh-oh, I'm stuck somewhere. Oh, I'm stuck on a branch, no! Don't do this to me, fish. Ugh. Gotta go to this side of the branch now. This fish is March. He gunned for the branch. It's all right, we'll get him in. Not to the point that my line's gonna snap yet. Perfect. Come here, little guy. First one of the day. What a beauty. Okay, now he's all muddy, but uh, he was beautiful just now. There we go. 
I got it on the corn. corn. Yeah, there we go, folks. Gotta wash this fowl a little bit, take a photo. I really is him. Right, this fish made me all dirty, folks. As you guys can see, I'm all muddled up from this fish. Check that out. But this is a beautiful koi, indeed. We're gonna let him go. First one of the day on the corn. Come on, fish. I know you can do it. I'm gonna, he's gonna swim away just nicely. A little push. There he goes. Beautiful. All right, first one of the day. Make sure I clean my lenses a little bit. Clean myself a little bit too. Check this out. Oh man, one fish. Look at all the damage this fish did to me. Boy, but all right, let's catch some more. Come on, Koi. You can do it. Get it. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Did I snag it? Hopefully not. Yeah, it's on the mouth. Good stuff. Took a little while, fellas. But the Koi finally got the corn. Six pound test line. Make sure we play nice and slow. Damn, he's got some power. Take it easy, Koi. I gotta release your swing off. I just want a photo with you. Don't worry, Asian folk is not gonna eat you or anything. Right side. Come on, come to the right. Good. Not that side, fish. This way. Good. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful fish. You did a good job. Gotta give you props for that. Wow, this is a gorgeous one. Gotta tell you, this is a beauty. All right, stop splashing me, fish. Don't worry, I'm gonna release the swing off. The hardships are not having a net. All right, got it. Definitely don't want to hurt you. Excuse me. Oh. Rod, you come with me. Beautiful. Good stuff, yeah, this, this is a beauty. All right, fellas, final view of our second koi of the day. First one was white, second one is a bright orange. Let's release this fish nicely over here so it can swim away nicely to live another day. A little bit of a revival here. There he goes. Beautiful, all right, let's keep catching then. Come on, you know what's good, carp. Fish on. Finally. Yeah. Took a little while, but he finally fooled him. Man, these fish are a little bit too smart. All right, come on. Come to the left side. Dude, he's pulling some drag, that fish. He's a little bit bigger than the otters. Make sure I don't break him using six pound copolymer right here. I have to play it slow. He's going for the weeds too. Oh, this fish may break off on me. I don't know. Nice fight, fellas, nice fight. Good koi fishing today. Landed two already. 
You guys may be asking me why I'm using six pound copolymer, right? And uh, with this fish, they're so smart. You really gotta go light on them, you know? Too smart. If you go too heavy on the line, they won't really bite. That's the thing. Gotta fight this guy a little bit more. Can't put the drag too, too bad, you know? Since I'm using six pound test. This is gonna be a nice, this is gonna be a beautiful fish. I can tell right away, this is gonna be a nice fish. This is a beauty, this is a beauty, this is a beauty. All right, you gotta turn to the right now, fish. Exactly, swim, swim to the right side, come on. Exercise. Right side. Good boy. No, turn, turn. Damn, he's got, got some power still. It's all right, we're gonna land him nice and smooth. Just gonna pull him, just gonna pull him to the right side. Beautiful. That's right, come over. Come over, fish. That's a, that's a nice fish. I'm not gonna lie, this is the, this is very likely the biggest koi I've ever landed. It's like my PB koi. Have never landed a koi this big. It's a nice fish. Nice fish, nice fish. Come here, koi. Damn, he can't fit in this little trout net. Can he? I don't think so. This little trout net's a little bit too small for this fish. Yeah. He's a beauty. This little net is a little bit too small for this koi. I'm not gonna lie. He can't feed this big fish. Uh, okay, let's get dirty for the fish again. Net is too small. Don't wanna hurt you, fish. All right, I don't wanna hurt you. Damn, dude, this is a nice one. No kidding. Woo. This is a beauty. Woo, folks, this is my beautiful, this is my biggest koi up to date. This is, this is truly a beauty right here. I gotta tell this much. All right, let's get a quick weight, quick release. Need for this weight. Let's see how much this fella weighs right here. We are at 14.35. So 14 pounder right here. Wow, wow. my God. 14 pounds koi, this is definitely this is definitely my PB, folks. Now, let's release this fella here. He's too precious, all right? Be free, Koi. 14, 14 pounder right here from this little pond. Who would imagine? That's crazy. All right, let's give this fish a proper release that it deserves. We're gonna revive him good a little bit. He stay out of the water for a few minutes. Always make sure to revive your fish properly so that they can swim away healthy, all right, folks? Especially big carp. Big koi like this, they are very rare. I mean, 14 pounds, you definitely want to treat them very nicely. He's still a little bit agitated. I kind of let him go already. Hopefully, he's going to swim away just fine. All right, oh, 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 all right. Signs of life on this fish here. I think this fish is good to go. Yeah, this fish is gonna leave to tell its tail how the Asian folk terrified it one day. Good stuff, healthy, beautiful. All right, let, let's catch some more. Come on, right there, get it. Did it get it? Fish on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, this is koi paradise right here. I like this place. Four koi in one day. Where else in the Philadelphia area you gotta do something like this? Yeah. Whoa, all right. All right, come here to the right side. No, they're all they're all different ones. This one's just 
little smaller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's much smaller. But it's still, it's still a blast. Oh, all right. Sifting the mud. Trying to get rid of the hook. I'm trying to flip him to the right side because of all the stuff in front of me. You see? So I'm one-handing the rod, the rod right here. Okay, let me land this fish here real quick. All right, this is a beauty. This is another beauty right here. Is this, is this your fourth koi? Yeah, it's the fourth koi for the day. Much smaller, much smaller, but still a beautiful fish right there. Wow. This koi, you know, they're, they're so cool because they all have different patterns and stuff. Oh, he's getting pissed now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, take it easy, fish. Got my GoPro all, all wet. Awesome. Awesome little fella right here. Check out the patterns on this little fish. It's amazing. There we go. Little, little mirror, little mirror pattern. Kind of a fully scaled on this guy. Beautiful. I don't think I'll take photos of this little fella. I'm just gonna unhook her real quick. As fast as I can if he allows me to okay maybe I'll need my pliers oh there we go it's off I'm not gonna take photos of that fish oh well even if I wanted to it's gone now Whew. all right nice fight all right fellas as I said we're taking it easy today we're finishing our day with four koi from this place you know I think four koi is really good. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Here in Philadelphia area, rarely I catch one koi a day. So catching four in one day, including a 14 pounder, is stalking for them. That is pretty neat, you know what I'm saying? You know? But anyways, if you guys come here and decide to catch yourself some koi, right? Just keep in mind, this is a closed body of water, okay? There's only this much fish in this place. So if you decide to come here and fish, Please, please, please just do me a big favor and practice catch photo release, all right? If people start taking this koi out of this place, there won't be anything left for anyone to catch, okay? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy today's video, all right? Stay tuned, I'm healing. I'm going to be just as new in a few days and we got to do some nice fishing. Tie lines, fellas, and until next video.